Avast has just released its replacement for the Safe Zone browser. This new secure browser is called, as it should be, Secure Browser. Let's do the installation. As always, I like to see what my options are. So rather than do a blind install, check on options. I want to launch it when the installation is complete. I want to import the bookmarks from my current default browser, which is Chrome. Also, I'm going to have it import cookies i do not at this point want to make it my default browser create a shortcut in my taskbar and in the start menu i don't need it on the desktop now i'm ready to accept and install as you can see the new avast secure browser has now opened it has imported all of my bookmarks from the Chrome browser. This includes a video downloader, so if I have videos that I want to download to my computer, I can use it directly from the secure browser. Ad blocker is built in, but as you can see right now, it's turned off. This is the security and privacy center. A quick way to do a scan directly from within the browser if Avast is installed on your system, and it should be bank mode designed to protect you when you're doing your banking and your shopping totally isolates your browser from the rest of your system avast secure line this is a paid product if it's installed this can be activated any fingerprint helps to disguise you and limit online tracking let's turn that on makes us a lot more secure ad blocking is on and phishing is on and tracking is on stealth mode if you want to leave no tracks password manager you notice that by default it's the safe zone browser that will be keeping your passwords for you if you have a vast password manager installed click on this now as you see browser is on by default it's the browser itself that will keep your passwords but if you have the password manager installed then you can change this clicking on passwords automatically will start the avast passwords manager and it will now be your passwords manager that will make sure your passwords are secure if you don't have avast installed and don't have the passwords manager then of course you're restricted to only having your password saved within the avast secure browser this makes sure that you don't wind up with bad extensions, unsafe extensions. As you can see, all of these things enhance your security, your privacy. That's why this is called the Secure Browser by Avast. And here you have a choice of the recommended settings and custom settings. Custom settings are what you decide you want to use. Recommended, of course, is what Avast recommends. You have active in order to keep you safe and private is also the option to make this your default browser once you see all the good features and once you know exactly how well this browser works that may most likely be your choice bank mode separates your browser from the rest of your system anything that happens here doesn't get to your system and no one else can get into your browser that's a quick look at the newly released secure browser from avast Stay safe, be free, I hope this helps.